The son and grandson of noted argillite carvers, Arthur Moody and Thomas Moody, respectively, Rufus Moody was a prolific carver in his own right. He is well known for his detailed works in a variety of sizes, and this larger mortuary model is no exception to his vast catalog of work. This pole has different proportions than many like it. It's narrow from side to side, and the sculpture is deeper from the front to the back than it is wide. From the top, we see a three-dimensional face jutting out from a flat relief panel that has the curved beak of a thunderbird. Uh, below this thunderbird is the image of a mountain goat with horns, seated on the head of what appears to be a bear with a frog held in its paws. This figure is seated between the ears of a large bird, appearing to be a raven with its beak turned down while holding a fish. The main figures on this pole all have abalone shell inlaid eyes, as do the thunderbird above. This large model represents a type of monument known as a mortuary pole, wherein a cavity in the back of the pole held the mummified remains of the deceased behind a painted and carved horizontal plank that were at the top. These planks were usually decorated to appear like a chest with panel decorations.